Hello my dear YouTuber friends and I do hope you're all keeping well. Welcome to this new video. Sim Update 12 is just around the corner. For reference I'm recording this on the 20th of March 2023 and of course Sim Update 12 is scheduled for tomorrow. With it comes Wasm for the Xbox. Something I'm particularly excited about and if you're an Xbox user or simmer you should be excited about it too in this video i'm going to explain as best i can in layman terms what wasm is tell you why i'm so excited about it and i'm also going to give you my speculations of what's around the corner in terms of aircraft releases and other types of releases for the xbox consoles could be a very exciting time indeed Okay, let's not dilly-dally. Let's get on with this video. Okay, so we find ourselves at Heathrow Airport in the Antonov aircraft. I'll come back to this beauty in a moment. I'm just opening the main cargo door. Isn't that a thing of beauty? Let's give you a brief layman terms explanation of what WASM is and how important it will be for the Xbox platforms. I'm going to show you something on screen. This is from the Microsoft Flight Sim add-ons website. I'll link it down below in the description so you can read up more on this. So WASM, or WebAssembly, is a binary instruction format designed for web browsers, but also used in some desktop applications. In the context of Microsoft Flight Simulator, WASM support will allow for more advanced and efficient third-party content, including add-ons that can simulate complex systems and interactions. There you go, like I said, I'll link that website down below for you in the description so you can wrap your head around that. I'm going to try and help you a bit with that. While we're outside looking at the Antonov, this will be the showcase aircraft from Asobo for Sim Update 12 and Wasm on the Xbox. This aircraft requires Wasm. So it'll be interesting to see how this performs on the Xbox in comparison to its PC counterpart. But this should be re released imminently after Sim Update 12. Basically it's slated for the end of March so look forward for that and it's a great cause. I'll link my video review down below in the description where I go more in depth with this aircraft. Let's just get inside. Now I'm at the sort of main tablet display here. It'll be interesting to see how much of these systems and interactions... Isn't that a lovely animation, by the way? <laughs> Never gets boring. How much of these systems and interactions will be available on the Xbox? You've got things like the weather tab. You can look up... Uh, let's type in EGLL at our current location. It'll give us the... Hopefully, search. It'll give us the weather. There you go. At London Heathrow at the moment. Very interesting. And all these converters. Many of these options should be available on the Xbox. But it will be interesting to see. And how it compares to the PC version. When it talks about. Uh, complex systems and interactions. Let's talk about something like the Cessna 172. To keep it simple. All the autopilot functions in the Cessna 172. So the glass cockpit 172. All the autopilot interactions and functions are built into the base sim. Things like this aircraft and other complex airliners, they use their own complex systems and WASM enables that in the simulator itself. So you've got the base sim interactions, WASM effectively enables more complex interactions and systems like this aircraft. That's explained in a layman terms, and that's pretty much the way I understand it. And if people want to expand on that in the comments, feel free to do so. Like I said, it'll be interesting. This is not a massively complex aircraft, the Antonov. 
So it'll be interesting, and I'll talk about more about this in a moment, when other possible aircraft come to the sim. The PMDG aircraft, the Just Flight aircraft, who knows, even the Phoenix. I'll talk more about that in a moment. How they will compare and what systems exactly will be integrated into the Xbox platform. Do have a discussion about this down below in the comments. But for now, what an absolutely gorgeous aircraft. Let me now take you to the part of the video where I speculate on a roadmap for releases on the Xbox platform after WASM is implemented. Okay, so what I'm back in the 146 Professional here, I'll touch upon that in a minute. Let me give you my speculative roadmap for Microsoft Flight Sim on the Xbox consoles once WASM has released. PMDG are already, have already mentioned they're just waiting for a Sobo to fix a security key so they can release their DC-6. So that'll be the first aircraft from them. I can well imagine April, May time, you're going to get an announcement from PMDG. Now let me know if I'm right about this, that the 737 will be coming out on the Xbox consoles. Not sure about the release date, but I can imagine something like maybe June, July for that. Maybe even August. But I can well imagine PMDG are going to drop an announcement that the 737 will be on the way on the Xbox for Microsoft in Microsoft Flight Simulator. Of course I'm flying the 146 Professional. I have no doubt that Just Flight, the developers of this incredible airline and my favourite in Microsoft Flight Sim, are going to announce that this will be coming out for the Xbox as well. I can, if I'm just going to speculate there, I can imagine a release date June, July for this, maybe even earlier. Do let me know your thoughts, what do you think about my speculations? And why am I speculating all this? Why do I think this is going to happen? Well, I've just done a little bit of research. There's over 10 million simmers in Microsoft Flight Sim. That's spread between PC and Xbox platforms. It doesn't take a genius to realise that probably over half those simmers are flying on the Xbox consoles. And why? Well, it's a cheaper point of entry to fly in Microsoft Flight Sim. You're paying a lot less for an Xbox consoles. So I can well imagine that half, the, half that number at least are Xbox flight simmers. So of course these companies are going to want to jump on board with that. Of course they want to make the most money they can from their product. And if it's possible to release after WASM, you can, you're going to see a flood of these high fidelity complex aircraft. Really, really hope and I do feel... This will be coming out on the Xbox. Whilst I'm in the cockpit here, let me just concentrate so I don't fall below a thousand feet again. Press a button. Let's bring up Flow. I'll link the, one of my videos I did about this in the description. You got things like you can change the server with a press of the button on, on West Europe. Let's ch change to North Europe. There you go, I've changed to North Europe. It will take time for the names to come up and repopulate. you got things like Portal. I've got a friend, Beamy Noble Drew there. Hello, you're getting a shout out in this video. If I want to, I can click on that. I can portal to him. Things like the new weather tab. The new cameras. I will get hold of a copy of Flow on Xbox and show you the difference. You're not going to be able to put in uh, bespoke widgets like, you know, you got user-made widgets by the community. That's not going to happen apparently on Xbox. Things like uh, tw Twitter, is it uh, Twitch integration? That type of thing's not going to happen, but you're going to get most of the goodness with Flow. Really excited for that to come out on Xbox. I was speaking to Ross, and I'm sure you don't mind me mentioning this, Ross. And go and join the Discord, link down below in the description, where you can come and view Rosson's panel building projects. He's got something lined up for the Xbox in that. He mentioned about the Phoenix A320 using an external app on PC Microsoft Flight Simulator. I'm sure that 
Phoenix will find a way around this. I'm hoping they do so they can release the Phoenix A320 on the Xbox platform. That might come a little bit later than the other de developers, but you never know. You might hear an, an announcement about that soon. I really hope that the Xbox console flyers, especially the A320 lovers, will get the Phoenix on the Xbox platforms. There's one or two bespoke controllers, per flight peripherals out for Xbox. Let's see if I can pronounce this correctly. I think it's called X X Air Myop. I'll link the website down below in the description. It's like a radio control panel that you can plug into the Xbox platforms. I don't have it myself, something I'm very interested in. It's got autopilot functions in that as well. I can well imagine once WASM is implemented on the Xbox platforms, you're going to find a slew of controllers coming out later in this year, or more bespoke controllers coming out later this year. Well listen chaps, that's just my speculations, my speculative roadmap. What do you think? Do you agree with that? Let me know your thoughts down in the description. Get excited, Sim Update 12 is just around the corner. Wasm's coming with it. Let me know your thoughts on the video. Give it a thumbs up if you've enjoyed it. Subscribe for more. And I'll see you soon.